This is a story inspired by our relationship with things, the objects that surround us, old, new, mundane, and special. The stuff that surrounds us is a reflection of who we are. We spend so much time thinking about how we interact with people and environments, but I have a growing fascination with the objects in our lives. The things we touch act like conductors, transmitting a part of who we are on the inside to the outside world. I decided to observe my own interactions with belongings to see what they reveal about my personality. I handle so many objects every day. I carry things around, throw them away, move them, and I don't think twice about it. But I started to notice the significance of some of my quirks and rituals hidden in these repeated actions. I always hunt down my favorite pencil from the bunch of pens and markers I carry around. I compulsively fold up and tie in a knot every wrapper from snacks like candy, gum, and granola bars before throwing them away. My fingers know this little pattern, and the knots litter my trash cans and the bottom of my backpack. I see them and they remind me of my own constant underlying nervous energy. There are more special things around as well. I rediscovered this shelf. It is one of my favorite and yet most basic possessions. The design of it strikes a chord in me. The lines are clean and simple, and it's made of dark wood, but the shelf is carefully thrown off kilter, just a bit. It's such a gentle angle, a graceful slope, that throws you off balance just a little. I also like that any person looking at my shelf may be able to get a sense of those things I like about it, and perhaps even infer something about me based on the fact I chose it to hold my books. What item would you save in a fire? What would you take with you to a deserted island? What possession would you never want anyone else to see? The answers to these questions will be as diverse as the people you ask. Value can manifest in strange locations. Appreciate the value in simple things, and embrace the way you can practice and hone your quirks through something as simple as folding up a piece of trash. It's a way to take some joy in the little rituals that can remind you of who you are.